Hey, Sarah. What? Do you remember my dad? I do. There he is. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you remember daddy. My daddy. Yes. Oh. Do you remember? Oh. You remember. All right, Peter. All right, so. Do um, you want me to introduce the, the show? Yeah, but don't, don't say anything <laughs> until we say your name. That's the rule. Okay. You can do whatever the fuck you Thank want. Thank you, yeah. Kalina. God damn it. You guys. <laughs> I'm taking the glasses off. <laughs> this may very well be the most special, at least in my opinion, Tiger Belly episode. Um, I don't know if you can see that Bobby is visibly I feel great, sweating. Man. I'm not sweating at all. Sweating. sweating. Oily. Because of the face stuff that you gave me. Me too. <laughs> It's amazing. That's space stuff. Thank you guys for joining us this week. We have a very, very, very special guest. Introduce everyone in the room first. That's how we do it. Oh, shut the fuck up. All right, sorry. <laughs> He's so nervous. But first, <laughs> let me introduce everyone in the room. To my right there is we go. my lover, my king, the captain of my ship, Mr. Bobby Lee. Hey, Bobby. <laughs> to my other right is the one and only good white, Mr. George Kimmel, yeah. soon to be daddy. Hey. To my left is flat, flat, 2D. Filipino Gilbert Galan. I'm flat. I'm Kalila, and today we have a very, very special guest. Um, she is not only beautiful, very funny, but I am so, so, so grateful that you agreed to do this. Welcome, everyone. Bobby's infamous ex girlfriend <laughs> and wonderful person in general, Sarah Hyland. Yeah! Thank you. Your middle name is Rose, right? Yes. I remember. I remember. Yes. Does it get old that people think Sarah Hyland is that girl from Modern Family? Modern Family? Uh, n no. I mean, I the, the best thing that ever happened, like not a lot has happened for me with that, but like the best thing that ever happened was I got um, a, a, like a, a month's worth of Colgate whitening strips. <laughs> from me. from who? I get, uh, from Colgate. I know, but mm. who sent it to you? Colgate. <laughs> They meant got, for the other? Meant for, oh. because apparently Sarah Hyland actually, I guess, tweeted about how white her teeth were since using white strips. So <laughs> they sent it to Sarah Hyland, probably thanking her, and but it was to me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So like, you just stole you. the other Sarah Hyland's white strips. You heard it here. <laughs> you heard wow, it here. that's great. <laughs> that was like the best thing yeah. that ever happened. And then I went to like... Three weeks ago, I went to get a COVID test. And of course, you have all the everything on because I'm mm -hmm. like 80 and she's like 12. And so like I have a mask on and like glasses. And I said my name. And they're like, oh, I love you on that show. I was yeah. like, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say thank you. I mean, yeah. awesome. And so that's the only thing that's ever happened. I mean, that's it. But um, I have to say about <laughs> Sarah, um, I have to say that. Is that your phone? Is that my phone? It's not my phone. You can pick it up if you want. Yeah, pick it up. Why don't I turn it off? Oh, it's my alarm. It's news. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I have no idea why my alarm went off. Yeah. Okay. Sarah and I dated uh, okay. for a couple of years. Yeah. And she's a very funny comedian. Um, I met her at the comedy store. Yeah. She was performing in the belly room. I remember that with uh, on Sunday nights for Adam Barnhart's show. Yes. Do you remember that? I, very well. Yeah, yeah. It was you. Who was always up there? You. Uh, maybe Fortune was up there. Fortune was with who us, was, yeah. Who else? Up, there's a couple of other people that pe people might know. And um, I found her to be very funny and weird. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, she's just yeah. a weird... And I, I, I love weird. Yeah. Yeah, I really respond to weird. And... Um, we had a lot of things in common, mm -hmm. right? N number one, I don't know if you've told people, but we were both sober at the time. I'm still sober, but I'm just saying yes. you were sober. And that was, you were, what I liked about you too was that you were hardcore sober. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you, she was in it. I enjoy you know I mean? it. She enjoys it. I enjoy it. And um, so that was like the, the, the basis of the thing, you know, it's just, I'm, 
so difficult to date. <laughs> well, I want to I want to dig deep. I want to I have so many questions. I have so many difficult. I have so many questions. I've been waiting for this day Challenge for a long time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um so when you first saw Bobby, did you were you automatically attracted to him or were you like, "Wait, let me ha- take a minute to see what I'm actually looking at?" No. Well, I mean, it was, but like I, I was sitting on the steps mm-hmm. of, and I didn't know who Bobby was. I didn't like watch TV. Like I didn't know anything, yeah. nothing. Like I actually got to the. Con- Why are you looking at her? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just oh, out of my beautiful garage. <laughs> <laughs> so, I so I was sitting on the steps of the comedy store in the belly room, mm-hmm. like on those like four little steps. And I think I was like waiting to go up or something. And then Bobby came around the corner. He had a little mohawk. Oh, you had a mohawk? Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah baby mohawk. And <laughs> yeah. He just said, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hello. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like really. And I just was like, hello. <laughs> And it was kind of that like mutual that was communication your of like, hello, weirdo. Uh, yeah. Weirdo. yeah. And it kind of just worked. And I think, I don't know, it just was one of those things, probably same. Like it just mm. kind of clicked of like. Kindred. Kindred. Yeah, yeah totally. Like, because, and then after that, like, the next thing I remember is we went to um, the bar, the place to eat next door with the mechanical bull oh yeah yeah, yeah, oh, yeah saddle yeah. ranch saddle ranch, saddle ranch. Yeah. yeah yeah i went to saddle ranch and i had a blue cheese i remember wedge. that yeah that's right you had a wedge salad blue, blue cheese wedge salad yeah. where it's literally a wedge <laughs> <laughs> yeah. with four bacon crumbles on it and yeah that. so i we, we did that mm-hmm. and then it was one of those things like we just that was it like that we just it. started hanging out every day and I played asking, the, ask more questions. Talk. It's okay, Bobby. <laughs> it's been so long. It's been so long. Yeah. So, yeah. And did do you think that he fetishizes tall women? Oh my god, I don't know. I I have no idea. I don't know. I think I do. I, I think I he does. Know. They have to be taller. How tall I, is Sarah? About five nine. Yeah, see. See, yeah. Because for me, it's like when I was a kid, mm-hmm. I used to stare at my parents. And they were both like mythological creatures and they were like so small. Uh, when I first met your family, by the way. Yeah, you thought they were dwarves? I honestly legitimately thought you guys were little people. Because <laughs> so my sister is six feet tall. Everyone yeah. in my family is really tall. So when I met your brother, when I met Steve for the first time, I was like, oh my God, come to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So cute. Yeah. Uh-huh. Walk into it. So whenever <laughs> whenever I saw my parents, I, I used to think to myself, I have to, you know, you have to, I have to breed taller. Mm-hmm. For for my kids, if I ever have them, you know what I mean? So I just, I've always dated, if there was this, I, I don't want to say her name, but before you, there was this girl in AA, really. Like six foot tall? No, she was 5'1". F- f- oh, God. It's, it's a long character. person. And I remember kind of liking her, but going, she's just too small. What? Yeah, I mean, I have to go h- higher. Go bigger. I have to go bigger. You know what I mean? I like Dangle, I like dangling like off climbing. people. Yeah, <laughs> I like climbing. I like you know. I like being a backpack. You know what I mean? You know, I like. Uh, I'm like a koala, and I want my woman to be the tree. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I like to hang. You know, just kind of. Okay. I just like hanging. You know what I mean? <laughs> Those aren't her tits, by the way. Those are just. I don't know what this is right here. Or I do this. I do like the the monkey b- thing where I just do this. Yeah. And I just like hanging there for a bit. You know, it feels good. Yeah. So um. Okay, I'll tell you a funny thing that one the first time I ever went to because she's from Louisville, Kentucky. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, Remember that one time where we were in Louisville <laughs> and and we had a dinner or something and you I was in your a room or whatever and you go, you have to wear this. And it was like the super tight Poke- Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon shirt, right? So little. So, <laughs> I know, so little, so little so right? So, tight. Yeah, really tight. It was like a <laughs> extra small. And I remember having a difficult time getting it on, right? Yeah. And I'm like, why the fuck do I have to wear this? And she's like, you'll see. <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, you'll see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like and then that. we walked in. I walked in. And so her family is are very, you know, Southern, mm-hmm. kind of white, We're, nice people, that like great people. I like them. But, um, you know, they had turned the whole <laughs> dining room into, it looked like a dojo. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, people were wearing kimonos, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everybody got kimonos. Yeah, everyone got kimonos, oh, right? Yeah. Which is a very funny thing, right? <laughs> and I just remember sitting there, I think they had chopsticks for me, right? 
Everybody else get forked. Everyone else get <laughs> forked. <laughs> Right, imagine that. Right, I'm in a house in Louisville, Kentucky. Right, yeah. And I just remember going, "This is cool." You know, what I mean, this is really funny. You know. <laughs> and then um, there's another thing that I was embarrassed about, just because if I, I think about memories, you know, <laughs> one time you gave me for a gift because you cause she loves going to thrift stores. Yes. Mm -hmm. So one time you gave me a gift of a um, it was a fo old photograph of a family or something like that, right? And she gave me that as a gift. And I remember in front of your parents, I gave you that same photograph as a gift back to oh you. Oh my God. Wow. And then you said to me, in front of your parents, I gave you that. But you re-gifted a gift she I, gave you yes. back to her? In front of her parents. In front of her family? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That I, I was at my when I lived above the comedy store. What is what wrong you with that? you? I, I I I still think about it. Going, wow, I fucked that one up. <laughs> Why know? did you do that? I, I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't but it was so that. fucking embarrassing. I, I remember your dad blushed. I'm glad it didn't scar you. That would have fucking scarred me no. if if a partner did that to me. Nothing penetrates it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, nothing penetrates it. Yeah, she doesn't. Well, I don't duck. It, I, I really don't remember that. But I, yeah. if I did, I'd be like, why? Yeah. That, was I like what the fuck? Yeah, you were like it was. It caused well, it didn't <laughs> cause a flushed. fight, but I think it was a weird for a day. <laughs> the, the next day was a little weird. Um, That's amazing. Another, but also another thing about our relationship was um, she would disappear a little bit. Oh, mm. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Which was cool, like in a I weird way. Remember. She would be like, "I'm just gonna go off on my own for a couple of weeks." Oh mm. uh, yeah, 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 and she would just kind of disappear for a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah, that's necessary. Yeah, 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 which is kind of. But I didn't know where she went. <laughs> she never told me. You I know did what I mean? Do that. Yeah, yeah. So she would just no, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, she would just disappear, and I think that, you know, at the end of the day, game. I, do you think that the destruction of our, of our relationship was gaming? Did that have something? Wait, to do with I have it? questions. I have questions. Oh, okay. Where's my phone? I came prepared. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Because not about you, it has everything to do with Sarah. Okay. She has the answers I seek. Here. Yeah, she has the answers. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd I do that? Uh, There's so many things. You're not the first person to tell me that. What? That you disappear? I just go away. <laughs> <laughs> I, you're not the first. I, I don't know. know why. Yeah, yeah. How many people in my past are like, where did you go? For yeah, years? I'm like, I don't I know. where do you a go? A month, she was gone. I just would, I don't. Well, I I would go to uh, different states and stuff. Like, I don't know why. I mean, <laughs> I, it's yeah. so weird. Now that you say it, I'm like, I did do that. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know. I used to do that all the time. Yeah. Even when I was drinking a lot, like people, like people would be drinking cheers and I go cheer bye, and then I would just <laughs> leave. And for the rest of the night, they're paying taxi people to go look for me because I don't know where they go. Yeah. I don't know why. And it's so weird. I just do that. Yeah. It's Not your, so much anymore. Yeah. It's your it's your button. How much yeah, sobriety do you have now? Oh my god. Eight. Like 18 and a half Oh years? my wow. god. Isn't that crazy? You know I went out. Yeah. Did you hear that? I did hear that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah my but friend. I have over a year now again. It was scary. She saw me. She was there. She was I you know, it's funny because I, I did listen to uh, a podcast um, of this one. And that's where that drawing came from, by the way, was the last podcast you did when you had your hair up. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. I gave yeah. you a tiara. Oh, thank you. Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> That's what that painting Wait, I just... Oh. Are those my nipples? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that drawn the from tiger, memory? The tiger has them too. Yeah, no, I I, I gave you a, a tiara. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, here are my questions for okay. you, Sarah. Um, it's not a... It sounds like a fucking pageant, I'm but like, it's oh not. Oh, my God. Okay. okay, here's... Here, here. Who broke up with who and why? Mm. Oh my god, this is another one. I just that somebody I was asked this as well, and I swear god, I try to remember of like why are we I, broke I already up? know what it was. I already know the answer. You do? Yeah. I remember Tell the me. night. I remember the night. I remember but, the night. You but, said to me, Yeah. You I, just basically said to me, I'm just gonna move out. <laughs> <laughs> you go, I'll move out. It's just not really working for me right now. And <laughs> We're good friends, and I just don't. I just don't think that this is right. And I remember I cried. Yeah, yeah, I cried because in my heart I knew it was done. Wait, so you did get dumped? You said you've never been dumped in your life, and it turns uh, out you it lied. Was, <laughs> uh, it was more of a. But here's it. But that's a the good thing. Vibe. I will vouch for that for Bobby because, like that, that is the weird thing is that it wasn't like this. Like it was just this odd. Because here's the thing, Bobby. We had separate kind of. 
Yeah, go ahead. We had separate rooms, like separate like bedrooms, yeah. which is fun. But I think, I don't know. Like, I just remember one night I was like, I think we're more like roommates. And like. Ooh, that scares me. And so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The roommate word has been mentioned in therapy between us. Yeah. And it, that frightens me because he does. He's a cat. Yes. He just sort of like wants to not be touched, yes. wants to kind of like, he he's afraid of being like truly vulnerable with people. So it's almost like this chasing game yeah. emotionally that you have to play with him. And it's either like, there are moments where he's really in it and other times where you're like, am I just, am I just a family member or someone you're living with? So I, that, that really, that's a trigger for me. That, that the, the, the R word is a trigger. Okay, go ahead, Sarah. We are roommates. Okay. Boom. Everyone in the house is a roommate. We all room. No, no, no. I don't want to be your fucking roommate. We're not roommates in the technical sense, like a college roommate. Okay. Right? We're lovers, right? But we are roommates as well. Okay. My parents were roommates. Okay, but go ahead, Sarah. Oh, my God. All right. So you guys were, you felt like roommates. It was over. Crazy. <laughs> okay. Second question. Oh, okay. Because I always say, and this is, might be completely... Um, of course here. I always view Bobby. He is a very like feminine energy to me. Yeah. And um, I always say like he's this is like my first like lesbian relationship. Yeah. Okay. And did you view him? Do you view him similarly similarly as me where it's like I find him attractive in all the ways that I don't find a regular guy attractive? For hands down. Oh God! No, 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 no that's All right. Okay. okay. That's okay. Right. No, 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 no. But that's the thing. But that he. No, I like it. Uh, it's good. It's Let's good. just put it this way. Yeah. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. And if you were to like, uh, if you were to like, go towards a color, mm -hmm. like it's it's almost he's a separate little he's a little ent entity of his yeah. own. Like I that I will say that Bobby, it's not bad. It's not bad. But it's definitely different from like being with a fucking plumber from Arkansas. Like, yeah, yeah. you're it different. Is. It's a good, a good thing. thing. That's a good thing. That, that a good thing. That is a good thing. thing. That's a good thing. My neck Rainbow is... Like, <laughs> you're losing my your neck. neck. My, neck is, yeah, my neck is so... Should we stop with the questions? Go, oh, no, no, no. Go, continue, I want you continue. to keep the no. questions going. Okay. I want to keep the questions going, but um, I just have to add that mm -hmm. um, with that explanation, yes. before I was a little defensive, <laughs> but with that explanation, I would have to agree with that. Okay, good. Okay. Go good. ahead with the questions. Not that plumbers from Arkansas are bad. I just want no, to no, they're not. They're like not. Different. No, you can't get canceled for that, Sarah. I'm not, I'm not trying to get canceled. For that. <laughs> Plumbing Arkansas. union. I'm just saying. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yes. I'm glad it. I'm glad it. Well, the guy that I dated last before him was just big, burly athlete. Yeah. And I, when I met him, I was like, why? I couldn't explain why I was really attracted to him. Well, you're that also. I remember your friends and family were going, "What the fuck." My, my my family wasn't like that. They weren't? There was only one friend that did that. Yeah, who was that? And she was my ugliest friend. Yeah, yeah. So she, I think she was just projecting. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't think that it came from anywhere beyond her own insecurities about herself. Um, okay. Um, what did you guys fight most about? I don't remember fighting with you. We don't fight. We no fighting. Fight. Mm -hmm. I, 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 because I think the vi was the video games a problem? Here, can I say this though? Yeah. Can I say something? Yeah. Like, yes, but I, I was also, here's the thing, it was two Bobbies. Like, I, like, <laughs> that's yeah. the other thing, too. Yeah. Like, we were so similar. Mm -hmm. Like, he would play video games, but I, I'd be like, bah, he, he. Like, I wouldn't, <laughs> and it takes somebody like you to be in a relationship with Bobby to kind of show up in that way, to yeah. be like, hey, <laughs> like, I don't want to be roommates. Yeah. But, dum-dum, like me, like, was just kind of, I just, kind of rotated around it like it was mm -hmm. I did the same thing but in my own way I kind of wish I had more of that you more know? like easygoing kind of like feelings about it because like I look at him I'm like well, fuck you gotta get up like move your toes or something because that's all he does it's like he'll sit yeah. for 16, 18 did I, hours did I sleep in a lot back then? 
Bobby. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you, well, at the time, at the other, I don't know if you still have them, but you had the blackout windows. He still yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah, 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 uh-huh. yeah. yeah that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you would, I mean, you would sleep till like six. Yeah. P.M. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. P.M. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Nothing okay. has changed. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed uh-huh. at yeah, all. Yeah. So, I mean, that's, I mean, so I could sit here and like, yeah, I mean, you play video games. Uh, do you still eat bags of sunflower seeds? Yes. <laughs> Every week, I have to empty out just jars and jars of seeds. Yeah, yeah. sunflower. Did I have a glue seeds. thing back then? Yes, you glue your hand. Yeah. <laughs> have you? <laughs> you have not changed so at all. So much growing. <laughs> look, 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 so much look. growing. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of growing <laughs> over here. <laughs> a lot of growing. Look, look at all that. Look at all that glue. Yes, yep. older. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Art installation. Did he have did he have fungus feet back then? I don't know. No. I don't think you no. did. No. No. But because after her mm-hmm. is when I really started hitting the um spas. Did I go to spas back yes, then? You did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the time. You remember you had that big white head? Remember? Oh yeah, and yeah. You stayed at the spa for like three days. <laughs> Like dunking yeah. in the in oh the yeah, yeah 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 dunking yeah, yeah, in the yeah. hot you yeah. would tell me <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. and then you go <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. like where have you been same for the past seven two hours yeah yeah <laughs> oh god because yep. remember I told you about the hot and cold tonight yeah, <laughs> yeah. I keep telling him so it for work. years he's using this fucking same um, pimple ointment from the eighties he yeah. doesn't think <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't think there are new ones that have been developed that work better. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So we were at the desert over the weekend, and he was like, "I can't go to sleep. This pimple hurts too much." I was like, "Here, have some of this." Yeah. And what happened? At first, I was resistant. He was like, "No, only this one works." I was like, "Ah." Yeah, yeah. Only Persagel. That's a fucking yeah. Yeah, yeah. From fucking Rite Aid. You know what I mean? And then she goes, she gives me this expensive. I I blotted it on. It was just gone. It was just gone. Amazing. They have new stuff. Yeah. What's it called? Let's promote it. Oh, it's called um, Circumference. That's Circumference. Really good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's my new thing. All right. So, so, do you have any more questions? Um, hang on. Do, do I? Do I? Do I? I think I do. Did I, I watch lot. porn back then? So much. <laughs> <laughs> was it on um, DVDs at that time? Yeah. Uh, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Because yeah, he would. It was so weird. Because like for as messy as he is, like he had his porn collection really like <laughs> categorized yes. and yeah, coded in fetishes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, weird. I mean, weird. Gonzo. You know what I yes. mean? And, yeah. <laughs> In fact, like he had said, you, it was like full on that, like you tried to stop, like you were gonna, you and uh, your what was his name? It doesn't Charlie. Matter. Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> Why is nothing changed? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, yeah. crazy, Charlie. Yeah. They were gonna <laughs> stop masturbating. <laughs> you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody knows. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. We're just gonna stop masturbating and go into like. Porn hubs. And I don't know what they're, but you were going to stop watching porn. Yeah, yeah. And remember, and I, that's, we talked about it on your show. That's when you got your red tattoo. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. Because you had to go do something. That's right. Remember that? Yeah, that was yeah. like day negative one that you guys stopped doing that. That's and right. That's why you got tattooed. Yeah. Hey, guys, we're going to take a really quick break to share some of our favorite sponsors with you. <laughs> Ship Station! If you sell stuff online, you're definitely in the right business. You guys, you guys, um, Ship Station, we love because we use it here in our own private um, business. Um, without it, we wouldn't be able to get stuff out to you people. And we really love this company a lot. More people are shopping online more than ever. I don't know if you know that, but I'm telling you right now. That means a lot of orders coming in and a lot of orders you'll need to ship out fast. That's why online sellers sellers like you need ShipStation. No matter how much you sell, ShipStation makes it super easy to manage and ship all your orders from all your sales channels faster, cheaper, and more efficiently. You can import orders from any sales channel, ship with any carrier, access discounted shipping rates, and automate just about any shipping task. You'll spend a lot less time on shipping and a lot more time growing your business. No matter what you're selling, Amazon, Etsy, and your own website, ShipStation funnels all your orders into one simple interface that you can manage from anywhere, even your cell phone. That's why we use it here, guys, at Tiger Belly. You'll get access to amazing discounts with major carriers, including UPS, FedEx, and USPS. Easily compare carriers and choose the best solution every single time. 
With ShipStation, small businesses can now access the same rates usually reserved for Fortune 500 Holy companies moly. without the contracts or commitments. It's no wonder ShipStation has more five-star reviews than any other shipping software. Bring it in, Gil. Ship more in less time. Just use our offer code BELLY to get a 60-day free trial. That's two months free of no-hassle, stress-free shipping. Just go to ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and type in BELLY. That's ShipStation.com. Enter the offer code BELLY. Make ship happen. happen. Enjoy the rest of the show. show. How have you been in the pandemic? Has it been freaking you out? Mm, I've been okay. I mean, I mean, which part freaking me out? I mean, because I have to say this, and I want to say this out loud and to the public. Um, you're sort of an enigma to me because I, I really have always found you to be up there, especially with like, in terms of comedy, g- being gifted and being like just so intrinsically funny and, and, you know, um, you know, I want the world for you. Thank you. Yeah. And, and so, you know, um, I know that during the pandemic, it's everything stopped for people. So that's why I'm asking the question in terms of comedy, has it been painful? No. Okay. Cause you've been doing all your, <laughs> cause you've been doing your videos and whatnot. Yeah. I mean that, but that's the other thing that, you know, I think I don't get, I don't really perseverate on one thing. Like if something stops, I'm not like <laughs> like I you just pivot and do something else. Like yeah. for me, like I've always I mean, I love I like stand up, but I like I can create just the same shit in my own house. Like Yeah, yeah. Whether if it's doing like characters or like painting, I've been doing a lot of that. But I think I don't know. I I don't I don't get stuck on one thing, which might be a part of like the commitment thing for me or like what but I've always pretty much been able to like you know go get a, get another hobby yeah yeah plants because I remember you did <laughs> a lot of planting planting but you also like you know the, the level that she's at she she went to New York to audition for SNL I did yeah yeah and Lovitz set that up right John Lovitz yeah. yeah so she really is just and she did a, how many episodes of Mad TV did we get you on oh. a couple Three or four? Yeah, that was fun, too. Yeah. Yeah, I remember we did that one with Mincy in the plane. <laughs> do you remember that? Yes, yeah, I yeah. do. Didn't you do one where you played, like, not a cheerleader, but, like, a yeah, hot chick? The, the, it wasn't, like, a hot chick. Yeah. Was, I've never played the hot chick. <laughs> I have <appreciate laughs> yeah. your yeah. confidence in me. Yeah. Um. No, we, it was, I can't remember her name. It was another comic, and I can't remember her name, but she was so sweet. And uh, we were football fans, and you were Tank. Oh, that's right. I was tanked. That's yeah, right. I remember that. The it's, hottest he got was like tight jeans. Like that. Was, <laughs> that was like, it. like I've never qualified for yeah, that yeah. in a jersey. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah, that was a good time. Yeah. You know, I was young. How old were you when you moved to L.A.? Mm, tw- I got sober at 20, like 23, 20, 23. And you just wanted you had like you wanted to do comedy and that was like the plan that you had? No. I had no plan. I wish I had a plan. <laughs> no, like, uh, it was a fuck up. No, like that. No, I wish that there was like. I was like, yes. <laughs> I had no plan. Like I that. I mean, I've grown a lot in a lot of ways. Like the fact that I am married is so beyond. Like I am not. I never wanted to get married. I like. I don't have that in my like thing. Yeah. Like, in my yeah. Wheelhouse. I have a real problem. I'm not a future thinker. I kind of really respect that though. <laughs> right now. I, but that's all that matters, right? It's like it's good, but it doesn't it's not great for plan plan <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. for success. Yeah. It's great in a lot of ways, but I, it's definitely like it's definitely like I am never I've never been somebody who's like, you know, my four year plan. Mm-hmm. And uh. I think successful people I think do have that. Yeah, successful, but, but like how happy? Happy. How happy? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know many of those people. Yeah. yeah. The whole like, where do you see yourself in five or ten years? That question is so fucking. I that pisses so me dumb. off. So dumb. I can't stand it. I, but I guess you should. I mean, you should have like something. But it's. But again, it's just never been. That's never been my personality. Mm-hmm. So like when I came to L.A., I I. I didn't have a plan. Like I just, I moved to Los Angeles because Chicago, where I was living, was so cold. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so geographically, there was. I remember this. 
<laughs> I don't know why West Hollywood. Okay, so when I was little, being born in Louisville, you always want to, for the most part, not always, but I myself wanted to get out of Louisville mm. from day one. <laughs> and I remember seeing a postcard, and it was two people in a <laughs> red convertible store. I don't know where I saw it. Yeah. But I was on a red, they were on a red convertible, and this, <laughs> this girl had blonde hair, and I was like, I have blonde hair. <laughs> I was like, that must be me. <laughs> and so she, her hair was like in the wind, and the guy was driving with his hair flying, and they were going over the hill, and it said Hollywood. And it, <laughs> and it had a sun, and the sky was purple. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, I want to live there. And yeah. so somewhere in my psyche, I was like, that's where the sunshine is. So I just literally drove. <laughs> but when you were in Chicago, you didn't. You did Second City and stuff like that, no? I did. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, I originally went there to go to the Art Institute. Ah, uh, I, I remember quit. that, yeah. Quit. Then you quit. Because I wasn't the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's from Second City as well. Are you? Yeah, I'm from Wrigleyville. Oh my yeah. God! Right on. How long did you live in Chicago? Five years. Yeah. yeah, it's good. It's a good. Yeah, it's cold as fuck though. It's cold as fuck. Yeah. Like, but it's one of the best cities ever. Oh yeah. It's amazing. But like, literally in school, we would have to figure out map plans to go through like buildings because mm-hmm. it was so fucking cold. Yeah. Like it was so inhumane. I just oh, want to yeah. pull this up. This is. Uh, oh yes. <laughs> If you want to put your headphones, you can hear some of it. This is but. why uh, I wasn't okay. a hot girl. I was just a girl. Like, <laughs> with what the outfit. fuck? <laughs> that a stunt man? I would be. Uh, look at the outfit. Mama's the low rise. Freak. <laughs> you say we play a game of six hand touch. I'll be shirts and you can be skins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's her. make a deal. Yeah. If the Saints win the Super Bowl, I'll sleep with you. Yes. But if the Titans win the Super Bowl, <laughs> we'll both sleep with you. Sweet! <laughs> what, are they not in the Super Bowl or something? I mean, I don't, why are you laughing? I... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> We're not in your fantasy football. You <laughs> pass! <laughs> 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 okay. All right. He rolls, he rolls over the car. All right, I okay. know. My brother's in that, right? Weren't your parents in I that don't too? Know Steve is in that one. Uh, in a lot of tanks, my brother's in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. I always get PTSD when I see old sketches like Why? that. Why? Yeah, people really still enjoy. Yeah, them. I, re- I so realize how young I was. Mm-hmm. Right, I-, I look much different now. You know, and um, mm. can I say this almost has a million? I know. Hits? How annoying not is it that you really. actually don't? I'm look like, that much not different. really, Bobby. You think I look the same? Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. Yeah. A little trouble, but. You, you think know, I, I've gained weight though, right? So pretty. I've gained weight. I don't think. I don't think so. I don't know. I've always seen you as one. <laughs> <laughs> one one, one unit. little body type. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say dumpling? Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tiger belly. <laughs> yeah. That's the body type. Just yeah. the body type. Yeah. So, but um, how long have you been married now? Uh. F- <laughs> What's the anniversary? I know. I think three years. Yeah, but you were dating her for a while, right? Like after you broke up with me. I've had so many. Yes, please. So you dated. So after you broke up with me, how many people did you date until oh your wife? Oh my god, that's no. It's okay. We can I edit it out. If she doesn't okay. want to answer. I don't it. mind it. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, if there's anything I could share to hopefully help somebody. <laughs> Lifetime, uh, it would be my relationships and the downfall of every one of them. Uh, um, no, I mean, to be honest, when we broke up, I went to Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? Uh, yes, I don't yeah. even know why. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. But, like, you know what? I always like when we when we go mm, through hard times. Mm-hmm. I think of Sweden too. <laughs> <laughs> like, I always imagine like where's the coldest kind of like weird party place I can go to to kind of get away. But I always think, if, if anything happens, I, I'm out this bitch. Like, I'm doing what Sarah Sweden. does. I'm going to Sweden. Uh. I read enough Girl with a Dragon Tattoo to know parts of Sweden pretty well. <laughs> Is it because you want to just be around Nordic play people because I'm so Eastern? I think it's like... <laughs> Good reason. I'm going to go where Asians don't exist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, growing up, did you let me? Because I've always liked to. I always like to ask. Um, growing up, did you ever find? Did you find Asian people attractive? Because what what I liked about Sarah is you could tell that there was no like um, prejudice. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Which is cool when you see, you know, a chick that grew up in the South, right? 
and you can just sense that there is no, you know what I mean, she's not putting you in any kind of like box or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I'm sure, did you ever like grow up and go, oh, I think Asians are cute or I'm attracted to them? Um, It was so like the opposite. I think, (laughs) no, 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 like, no, I'm in, like, I'm intrigued and like fascinated, like be like to a kind of odd point of people who are not like me, who do not look like me. Uh. And growing up in the South, primarily, it is all white people, yeah. primarily. Like I, like what the? I went to a religious school. Like where I, it's just that it is what it was. They look like him. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And so, but and I, but even at a young age, I was like, I was fascinated because we would have history books, and clearly in the history books, there's an Eskimo, and I'm like, where are they? Like, you know what I mean, like I was so like, yeah. where? Are these people yeah yeah because we had like you know like one of each ethnicity that you know you're like how did you make it here and like in (laughs) every single time like i remember we i think there was a a a girl she was filipino who i who i went to grade school with one (laughs) (laughs) i just remember feel like i had this thing in my like heart that i was like are you okay? Like, <laughs> you know, I, I are you wanted. Okay? Uh, Let me tell are you, she are you okay? feeling? She wasn't okay. No, probably not. Yeah, yeah. And like, I just kind of like knew that. Like, I yeah. so I I so it's I. That's the thing. So as soon as like I know, like as soon as I was eighteen, I was like, I gotta go. I gotta find the others. So, like, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to find the Eskimos. I knew yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. So like that's why I moved to Chicago because I was like, there's gotta be a lot out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I kind of so that's that's the thing. Like I'm just so like. I, and with so much, I don't know. I've just always been intrigued by mm. other cultures, authenticities, the, like everything about other cultures. Is that yeah. how you felt, George? Is that why you moved to India, like right out of high school, where you were like, "I gotta I see it. more." Yeah, yeah. I like white people like you. You guys are the ones that, uh, honestly, you guys are the ones that like protest with the black people back in the '60s during the protest. You know what I mean? And they put their bodies on the line, and we needed people like you. You too. And I want to say um, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. You guys are good. Okay. <laughs> you guys are good Thank people. you for the protest. No, but what, what I found, though, was that, now, that she was a very nice lady, but did your... A lady. Who, did your grandmother, was she weirded out that, she, that you were dating an Asian guy or... Oh, my mom's mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rita. 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 Little Rita. She I remember one time done. Rita was in the house and I remember going, I should just go play piano. <laughs> Because there was a piano there, right? So I'm going to play the piano just to say maybe that's my angle in. Yeah. yeah Did yeah. it work? I, I don't remember ever having Did it work on Rita, with Sarah? With Rita? Because Rita's gone. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Right. Mm. Rita. That's okay. <laughs> okay. That's, no, it's okay. I didn't she know. lived a really good life. Yeah, she um, lived a great life. <laughs> Did she like you? Yeah. Did Rita like me? Yeah, I don't think Rita is like me. <laughs> to be honest, uh, uh, like, uh, uh. yeah, Rita was like hardcore. She's like a hardcore country, <laughs> you know. And I yeah, like, yeah. I would always, call, I would call her princess because she was so hard <laughs> and like so uh, grumpy. Yeah, I would always say, "I love you," just to see, <laughs> like, <laughs> "I love you." So, and I say, "Princess, I love you." She would just say same. Like she couldn't say it back. So yeah. she would uh, say same. I was like, that's not the that's not I love you. Like so she I don't know if she liked me, but yeah. I'm pretty sure in her heart she loved you too. But you know like, who I did love is your parents. They're good. I wanna get I, I don't wanna get emotional, but they're um, good. They love you too. Because I have a fo- I still have We have all your this is gonna sound <clears throat> we have really a photo. weird. Um, but we have all of your photos. That's sweet. And uh, well, I have a photo of your father. Yeah. Right, yeah, dressed up, at, dressed yeah. up as Elvis. Yes, Whoa. right. Yes, and it's from um, way back in the day. That's right, from Timmy. Yeah, Timmy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And whenever I, I was hanging, still when we lived in the old place. Yeah. Um, because we were dating, you know, what I mean, at the Beechwood House. Cause yes. You lived there as well yeah. for a bit. Yeah. 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 Was, yeah. Yeah. So I, I was hanging there, and I still have it. I'm gonna hang it up. I love your parents. Your parents were just like, not your dad was. Um, just a great he's just a great guy and i know he's also a, you know a role model when it comes to like sobriety and stuff like that mm-hmm. yeah yeah and he's just a 
Do they miss? Do they remember me? Oh, they remember <laughs> you so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh no, that they love Bobby. That not, but you're everybody loves you. You're yeah. you're, you're, you're always a hit with Karen. <laughs> <laughs> and the one time that we did the family play, remember I played my grandma. Oh, that's right. That's and, right. Yeah, yeah. You were the uh, dry cleaning man. <laughs> Remember that? Family play? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Bobby was it okay, okay. All right. So there we you came home for Christmas. Yeah. And my family is all like they're like Irish cat big people. Uh, like huge. Massive. Yeah. White. And like Bobby did this play we put on a family play. <laughs> what? In a living room. <laughs> yeah. Remember? Yeah, I do yeah. remember. Yeah, yeah. So, but anyway, Bobby played, I can't, like, it's a, the whole storyline of it was kind of interesting, but basically, yeah. Bobby, slept. <laughs> Bobby was like the other man. <sighs> just go ahead. To, <laughs> go ahead. Do you remember the story? No, just tell, tell, tell the story. I don't want to tell you. Yeah, you know, it if it, all right, fine. If it's, listen, tell the story. I can't. If you want to edit it out, we'll edit it out. But I can't tell it because it's. It's <laughs> It's racial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I can't! I, I can't! I know. I know. You just told me I'll get Sarah, Piper's Sarah, family. Sarah, I know, Sarah, 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 let me just say this, My okay? My family's good. Our, <laughs> our, our culture has changed, okay. right? So much. So, and we've changed. So culture much. has changed so much, right? So this much. is back, way back in the day. Uh -huh. This is like, so long how long ago? ago? 12 years ago? How long ago? Let's just say 30 even. Let's 30 years ago. Yeah, and you ago. were a willing participant. I was so it's all willing, good. I, it was all in fun and game. Listen. Wait, <laughs> listen. He killed it, though. I killed it. <laughs> he killed it. I killed it. He killed so it. So why don't you explain <laughs> what, the, what, what, what it was about, and if Ugh. and we'll listen to it, and if okay. you don't want it, we'll cut it out. We okay. cut All right, so go ahead. <laughs> okay. Go. <laughs> I know, but I didn't even get canceled. Uh, That's why get, I can die. Not, yeah, not, All three yeah, of my followers on Instagram are coming. Go. 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 go ahead. Oh. I'm going to lose my blue check mark. <laughs> <laughs> have. I have nothing to lose, man. Um, I mean, I do, but I don't. Yeah. All right. Fuck. <laughs> So the story basically, I'm sorry in advance. My family has good heart <laughs> and good spirits. I swear. All right. I hate this. Okay, so, all right. Brody. So basically, so growing up, oh, this is so horrible. I hate this. Just dive in. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, well you don't even remember what it's about, so I'm on the it, I think line. what I, I want to I want you to I want to hear it because I, maybe it'll rekindle maybe. You know, a memory. Okay. okay. Uh, you're gonna have to cancel this out if it's really bad. Okay. We got it. Yeah, I think got, it might be fun if we don't even put <laughs> it. In. Yeah, yeah. So, all right. So, growing up, okay. So, in my family, you know how all families have a, a physical characteristic that makes them. The like, if they looked at you, have something okay, okay. The Lees, like, you have something in your family, like, and all oh, your arms are very Lee like. I can tell <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. look, at, he looked like his uncle, right? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why. Yeah, so in my family, Highlands, we all have um, very like almond eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah. I hate that. I hate this. <laughs> I feel uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. We're good. <laughs> All right, so they have like almond shaped eyes. Uh huh. It's actually not that bad. I'm setting myself up <laughs> yeah. worse than it really is. Yeah. All right, so anyway, but it's, but okay, so if you come from a land of white people, yeah, mm. it's pretty, everybody looks kind of the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if you have any characteristics that's, that, that's specific, then, the, okay, so that's why. So they all have this kind of, sh this kind of almond eye shape. And so, um, <laughs> so my grandpa Willie and my grandma Rosemary, okay, everybody wondered where, how all these, there's seven kids, there's six boys and one girl. And so they always wondered how, because nobody in my family has this almond shape. Like, uh -huh. they don't have it. Yeah. And so it was always this thing of, like, who is Rosemary sleeping with? <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, yeah. so the whole thing of this joke. And so <laughs> there, I guess, at the time that they were 
growing up, like, I guess there was a dry cleaning gentleman who was <laughs> of Asian descent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, not so bad. it's not bad. Rosemary, they said, Rosemary must be sleeping with the dry cleaning <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the play was, so this had never <laughs> been physically <laughs> theatricized. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> never once. It's always, uh, it's always been left, you know, just as verbal words, which was fine by me. But my dad, being a thespian that he was, yes, he put wrote this play for our family <laughs> during Christmas. <laughs> wrote it during Christmas time. Yeah. So I played Rosemary. I put on a wig, remember? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Onesie, smoking, yes. and we made all those babies, remember? Yes. <laughs> and so my cousin Wesley played Grandpa Willie. <laughs> and then my cousin Wendy narrated the fucking thing. Yeah, yeah, And so yeah. I'm sitting there, and I made, during this whole Christmas time, I made these all these babies. I made seven babies that Rosemary <laughs> had. I made them out of beer. Do you remember shopping yeah, remember. for those babies? Yeah, I remember that. Like yeah. one of them has big ears and yeah. holding a beer can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was I my remember. Uncle Mark, and my dad had like lumps over the because <laughs> he got pulled out with the biceps. What are they called? Tricep, but you know, forceps. Forceps. Yeah. Forcep. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and so we made all these babies. And so then at the end of the play, I, it was this whole thing of like, oh, but still, how did everybody get these almond shaped eyes? <laughs> yeah. And then I'm sitting there and I'm smoking, and all of a sudden, Bobby pops out from the seat and goes, surprise! <laughs> 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 Something like that. It was yeah, a better yeah. build up. My it was horrible because it's tainted with shame. But like, <laughs> it was like good. And he yeah. goes surprise. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, you saw the mohawk and like small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. And yeah. his little body. And and then this just if you can imagine like a whole fucking it crushed. Uh, crush it. Killed it. Crushed in the family. Crushed it. And yeah. just everybody fucking dying laughing. Uh. <laughs> First of all, that story is, we're not cutting down. Do you not out. remember that? I do remember it okay. vaguely. I remember get, trying to go to thrift stores and getting the babies. I think yeah. I remember. I think I remember. I don't remember the, the line, Sur surprise. I don't remember that. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Just, like that. Just, like, Just like that. Just like that. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that, but. Um, That's me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I remember, yeah. but you know, I remember yeah. crushing maybe, you know what I mean? did crush. But um, I also have fond memories of. There was a coffee shop near your house. In Louisville? In Louisville. Okay. Right? And I remember walking there. Or so. Can you walk there from your house? I don't know. Yeah. I remember anything. going there. was a really nice coffee shop. But I also remember that was the first time I went horseback riding. Yes. With your family. Oh, I have a story about this. <laughs> yeah. So we went to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. We were in Kauai. Okay. And I had never, I have like no horse experience whatsoever. I didn't grow up riding horses. Didn't grow up around them at all. But this guy goes... We should go horseback riding. He's like, I'm a horseman. Mm. He's like, I used to go. <laughs> he's like, I used to go with Sarah no. to her hometown in Louisville oh. and just ride horses all day horseman. for like months. Yeah. So he really made it out like he was some fucking months? cowboy, right? Sarah, he couldn't even mount the horse. He couldn't even swing his <laughs> tiny little legs over a short horse. And I and this horse nearly trampled him to death. <laughs> Like it was the funniest thing, and then he, the amount of times you nearly, you almost got like bucked off because the horse just fucking hated you. Yeah, I was like, this guy's a fucking liar. You didn't go riding horses with Sarah. Yes, she did. probably rode horses. I rode the horses. I rode a horse. Was that your first you time though? Whole story though. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what story? Uh, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> what story? What story? <laughs> I went horseback he, riding with the family. He's so aggressive. Uh, no, I didn't say he did ride horses. Thank okay. you. So I, he, I, you did, yeah. but you didn't tell. The, <laughs> What's the when whole, Bobby? But what? no, the whole story is when. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> 
Hey, good. <laughs> the, when we first went there, okay, so uh, there's something about horses. If you don't know, so there's like mm. normal size horses for normal for <laughs> oh. people. <laughs> No, like, you know, like, yeah. 15 hands, yeah. that, like, big yeah. horses. But there's also ponies called Shetland ponies. I know Shetland yeah, ponies. Yeah. So, uh-huh, cute little baby. Where we went to ride, he did go, <laughs> he did go to ride. He We did. He, we went to Oldham County. Yeah. And you rode at Debbie's Farm. At Debbie's Farm, that's and right. And so we went to go get the horse. <laughs> did you ride a Shetland pony? He I went to the no, no, no. <laughs> Tell the story right. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> what happened? It's wedding. What is it? So, no, so we went, we're walking towards the barn. <laughs> we're walking towards the barn. Yeah. <laughs> Debbie goes, let me go get the horses for everybody. <laughs> 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 so it was me, my mom. <laughs> <laughs> So Debbie goes in. She brings out one horse, normal horse. Yeah. Two, two horse, yeah. normal horse. <laughs> yeah. Three horse. <laughs> it was this baby Shetland pony. <laughs> Which color was that big? <laughs> Looked like a dog. <laughs> That's what it looked like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so small. That's yeah. what it looked like. Yeah, they used to do <laughs> tricks like that all the time. And they used, they used to laugh and laugh and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> they laughed. Oh, God, I remember that so now. that was your horse riding? <laughs> no, I didn't actually got on a you regular one after, <laughs> after that. So that was a joke. A normal Debbie that brings out the, sh- the pony. <laughs> And then there's a 10 minute, 15 minute laugh. Killed it again. Right. And I'm like, doing, I'm mugging. You know what I mean? Yeah. Surprise. <laughs> 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 right. And then I get on a regular horse. And then yeah. you actually oh got on a regular horse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then we. <laughs> what? And then we were. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sweating. So uh, Can you add a filter to this? <laughs> Sparkle. We'll put the beauty gold filter on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you. Black and white. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah, we were riding. So, in Oldham County, so the surrounding counties of Kentucky are all like rural, woodsy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. So, we're riding through the woods, and every other tree from <laughs> Bobby goes, Is that where the Hink is? <laughs> Every other tree. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Remember that? I do Every remember. other yeah. tree. Ask, yeah. I remember also they wrote an article about us. They did. In the in the newspaper. My, my parents have it. And I hope this isn't, I mean, it's all like, it's been, girl, it's been years. But they still have that framed. It's down in our basement. We st- I still have a picture of the both of you framed nah. up on our wall. <laughs> yeah. And I know that sounds really weird, but I really have like, you know, when I first met Bobby, one of the things that I was so scared of finding out about him was that his exes were, I mean, not all, all women are wonderful. I'm just saying, like, it would have been a red flag for me if his ex wasn't you. Like, when he told me about you, when he says, this is Sarah, she's a comedian, she's funny, she's this, it, I was impressed. And that was one of the reasons why um, I felt comfortable knowing that, okay, like, he likes these brilliant women Mm, like that's that's what his past looks like if it had been some you know just hot chick with no substance it would have been a red flag for me so like i have absolutely no feelings about that like at all so yeah i have to say i like hearing these stories because it's like intel for me yeah it really is i'm like holy shit tell me more yeah yeah. i'll tell you everything (laughs) (laughs) i have to say though that you you know in my if i look back at my life if i wrote a book and i had chapters Mm-hmm. Yeah. In terms of my relationships, there were probably be three real relationships I had. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I think Sarah was a real relationship. Yeah. I think yeah. Christine was a real relationship, and you obviously, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but um, yeah, I, you know, I've, I, ch- I think I, you know, there needs to be something specific that I can. S- so if number one for a girlfriend, I have to introduce them to my parents. Yeah, my parents have to really like them. So you know, I um, that's number one. Number two, there's got to be you know, looks is one thing, right? But there's got to be something like a bunch of other things. You mm-hmm. know, what I mean? that that triggers 
stuff within me. But um, you always tell me this one story about when you were with Sarah in Hawaii and like the angriest you've ever been. Is when I don't know if you remember. OK, there's two you. Hawaiian stories with you. OK. Remember that one time where I had food poisoning? Mm. Yeah, there was, I, I <laughs> ate a hot dog at, at the Grand Waialea Hotel and then we we're at the airport. We missed the flight what? and I had diarrhea for 24 hours. And she, I remember having her to carry me around <laughs> to the airport. You don't remember that. Don't okay, remember that the second that thing is, you probably won't remember this either. I was holding hands with you. We were on the beach and a group of guys walked by. And they, <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> and they accused me of like, you know, paying you to be with me or something. Oh my thing. God. And then me being angry, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Wanted to confront them. And then you remember you just kind of, you know, pulling me along, go, let's not bother with that. You know, th- those guys, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But um, I remember those. Dis- you don't remember the diarrhea, huh? I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like your tummy always hurt. <laughs> like, I know, why would, you know, like, yeah, yeah. why would that diarrhea stand out for you? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, so true. Nothing has have, changed. Like he, no. all, something's always up with his bad guts. Time, bad you have yeah. IBS, I think. I think I do. Because you tell her how many times I've shit my pants. Oh my god! We were just in the desert, and he shit his pants, and mm. he had to wear my underwear all weekend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my cute little panties, my lace panties all weekend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey guys, we're gonna take another quick break to share one of our personal favorite sponsors. Better have for you, babe. What? What interferes with your happiness? Oh my God, so many things. But you know what? I've dealt with it, baby. Do you know why? Why? I use BetterHelp, baby. So do I. Yeah, yeah. You know, during this pandemic, baby, mm-hmm. BetterHelp is really, um, I've dealt with a lot of issues with my trauma and with other things that are going on. And it, this is one of the, my favorite um, services in the whole wide world. BetterHelp is an app that will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. It connects you in a safe and private online environment. And it's so convenient, guys. You can start communicating in under 48 hours. You can send a message to your counselor anytime. This is one of my favorite features about it. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. What it is is this yeah. professional counseling done securely online. Yeah, and you have licensed professional counselors who are specialized in depression, stress, anxiety, relationships, sleeping, trauma, anger, family conflicts, LGBTQ matters, grief, or self-esteem. And anger. Anything you share, by the way, is confidential. It's convenient, it's professional, it's affordable, and financial aid is available. Oh. Also, can I may I interrupt? Uh-huh. Check out the testimonials posted daily on their site, please. Tell them, bring it in. If you want to start living your happier life today, as a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash belly. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash belly. Enjoy the rest of the show. This has been great. We've already done an hour. We always do an hour. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. All right. But um, Sarah, thank you so much, by the way, I'm for And we have to, to do, do it this. again, by the way. We I would was love worried. to have you back. I'm yes. so ha- You have no idea. Like, was... Yeah, and tell me when you need to stop. I know you guys. No, we, we're not no, done. No, we no, have no, another okay. section that we're going to do with you. But okay, no, I I want to say to your beautiful girl, thank you because I I honestly because that was the same thing. Like I never, I only knew of you from social media and just yeah. from the podcast, and um, <clears throat> and I had no idea about like your feelings or personality. But I swear, but as soon as she messaged me, I was like, I love her. You were so kind. Mm. So I appreciate like I think I told Bobby a long time ago we would watch your Kentucky Lightning videos oh together. Yeah, yeah. Like in bed. Ugh. I think you're fucking hilarious. So you're you. so funny and talented. Thank you. And um I am just so grateful <coughs> that you agreed to do this. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Get to it, Gil. Well, at the end of our I have to explain to what it is. Uh-huh. At the end of our episodes, we do a unhelpful advice. People email us questions and we can either be helpful or not. Okay. Okay? So go ahead. On Health Advice with Sarah Hyland. Hey guys, my dad is a higher up at a company. He consistently talked about how happy he'd be if I worked with him. In December, he offered me a job in the IT department. I took him up on the job because I knew how pleased he would be if I started working with him. I hated it. I dreaded going to work every day because it was a very boring job and I didn't have any opportunities to talk to people. I am his oldest child of 17 with this job. I was working two jobs at once. This led me to slipping back into depression and feeling like I couldn't hang out with my friends or enjoy free time. I just put my two weeks notice in, and he is very disappointed. He looks at me like a quitter now. He was very proud of his son working with him, but now I feel like he tries to avoid conversation with me. Do you have any advice on how to lighten up the situation with my dad? 
Hmm. Well, hmm. I mean, I feel like those conflicts are common. You know, I mean, for me, just as for my own personal life, I just have to be able to look forward to work because I'm so lazy and I'm just so, so I'm so stagnant that like for me to do anything, it's just, I have to enjoy it and I have to look forward to it. And I have to like <clears throat> get excited about what I'm doing. It's like, you know, I have some jobs coming up in May, that thing I'm going to have to do in May. And um, I'm just I'm constantly thinking about it. You know, I'm going to Hungary in May. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I'm, I'm thinking about it and I'm like, you know, what I mean, there's a lot of like fear, but there's a lot of excitement and all that. And I, I all those things have to be involved. If I had a daily job where I, I was not I hated it, I just wouldn't be able to do it. And it just sounds like that's the position that you're in, brother. Yeah. Um, there, I think there are types of people that just aren't meant for the corporate world. I know I'm one of them. Like I could never clock in, clock out, be a nine to five. And I had the exact s- sort of similar thing where, you know, like being Filipino, just by virtue of being Filipino, like my mom really just wanted to push the nursing thing. My sister took the bait. My other sister took the bait. They're both nurses. Mm-hmm. She still tries to push that, you know, you could still, you could still. And you just got to put your foot down and say like, I respect you. I love you. This just isn't my path in life. And um, please allow me to find that. Whatever that is, please allow me to find it on my own. Sarah? <laughs> I did that once. No, I yeah. I mean, I agree. Like, I tried to work for my dad at an, oh. his insurance company. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> yeah I mean, imagine her. Oh my god! No, I would take naps. Like he would tell me to go file. Yeah. And d- so many learning disabilities that like I, A B C D E. Like I would have to do the alphabet so many times to remember where the W and X were. You know? <laughs> <laughs> So sleepy. So I would take naps. His his actual employees would find me. Be like, sir, let's take a nap. (laughs) Yeah. You know, I mean, I tried it several times, and my brother works for him in the insurance company. Um, I think you just keep <laughs> just keep doing what you want to do, what you love to do, and eventually, like I, I have the worst Arrested Development ever. Like it's taken me a long time. Like I wasn't somebody who, like right out of high school, is like I want to be a lawyer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, like, don't do it. Yeah. Like it just takes what it takes, and I think, you know, I don't it, it just continue doing what you do. And being enthusiastic and passionate about it, so that your parents can't argue with it. Mm. Yeah, mm. even if you that's good. Take yeah, take naps or don't take because they don't want you to take naps at the filing cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> like that that's not helpful. So that that's been for me. Like I just keep being, you know. But don't be lazy. Don't yeah. be lazy because if people watch you being lazy, they don't. It's hard to support it. Yeah, mm. that's a good point. Yeah. yeah, you have to be doing something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, to further your situation. But um, anything else? Is it another one? Yeah. Uh, hello, I'm Aldo. I'm 31 years old. I was with my girlfriend for about eight years, and we have a seven-year-old son. Recently, I lost it because of the pandemic, and told her to get her things and go back home after she came home at 3 a.m. about two weeks ago. I immediately regretted what I'd done and said, "I miss her so much, and now she wants to go out with others, and I feel so lost." There's always been trust issues with us. I just don't know any way in getting my family back together. I'm trying to work on not contacting her, but as soon as I miss her, I get an overwhelming depressive feeling to talk to her. Basically, he lashed out on his wife. and She uh, came off three in the morning from what? A partying? He doesn't know. Trust issues. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, thank you for listening. <laughs> Surprise! 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 Yeah, yeah. Oh. Trust issues. What do you, Trust what do you have? Issues. Anything, babe? But so, Sarah, would, do you have um, anything you want to plug, like uh, your social media and whatnot? Go ahead. That's another part of this. I was like, I don't have anything to plug. But you have your social media. You know, I have social media. Do you sell art? Do you sell? I art? do. No, I'm yeah. joking. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. Um. No, I. I. That's a thing. Since the pandemic and stuff. Because I did two Zoom shows and mm. I oh. kill myself. <sighs> Is that sad? I had depressions. Like I hated it. Yeah. So I, you, I haven't done a single even, show. I cannot do it. Those I did horrible. I did two. Oof. Never again. I've done zero. Never. I refuse. I cannot do it. Yeah. And so 
I, I can't. What do they like? I mean, because you don't, you're not getting rid of the response from the people. That's the thing. Like, I don't know how comic. I, I swear, I don't know how comics do it. I don't because yeah. like everything about comedy is even right now is like you're talking to people. Like, if it's not a fucking podcast, you're sitting there talking. That's a vlog. Yeah. Not a show. Right, 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 right. So I don't know. So that's I don't know. I know comedians are doing it. I don't know. But yeah. that's the thing. So anyway, so I've been doing more art. I do like paintings and stuff for now until it kind of like clears. But I just do that like, and interesting enough, like you kind of go to where, what makes you money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And people are buying them. So Good. I just kind of like do that and see where it goes. Are you going to get vaccinated? Yes. Yes. For sure. Okay, good. Yeah. I think I can do it because I have as- asthma. <laughs> You do? Can you tell by my... <laughs> you have asthma? <laughs> my wheeze. Did you have asthma when I was dating you? Yes. I remember. I, had it in my I remember. <laughs> no, you don't! Oh, my... No, you don't! Was... I don't remember your explosive diarrhea. <laughs> you don't remember my asthma. We're one for one. It's okay. Anyway, that was yeah, a real fun show. That was a really fun show. That was, yeah. That was really good. And um, um, don't go anywhere because we have to take a photo. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, we'll see you back on the program. Can I say that I love your girl? Okay, that's already been said. <laughs> so what? Yeah. Come I think it's important. Come back Give her a round time. of applause. Thank you so much. That was yes, cool. I, love, I love you. I was so also fun. very nervous. I was so I was pretty. You nervous. killed it. You I killed was so it. Sweating. That was so fun. You killed it. That Thanks, was fun. guys. Uh, what an exciting episode. So we want to thank our sponsor, ShipStation BetterHelp. Ship more and less time. Just use the offer code Belly to get a sixty-day free trial of ShipStation.com. Click on the microphone at the top of the page and type in Belly. Hey, start living your happier life today. Get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at BetterHelp.com slash Belly. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Belly. And George, if we want to uh, send in a question, where can we do that? Send it to AdviceUnhelpful at gmail.com. We are... Have we gotten any uh, video submissions? We need more, guys. We need <laughs> you to submit the videos. Uh, priority to video submissions there. Yes. So, uh, Make sure you put that in the subject line. and Make sure you keep the videos under 90 seconds, if possible. Uh, anything else, George? Nah, I just... That was a... I loved that episode. That I don't know. Great. That was great. I really enjoyed it. No, I can turn it up, though. I know, like... It's easy to play like the cool girl and be like, oh, like I'm cool with my partner's ex. But I genuinely feel like I, every time Bobby has ever talked about her or talked about how funny she was, I always, always knew that I wanted to meet her eventually. Just because it's like she is, I hate to say it, so much like him. Yeah, it's I got scary. That. I got a little bit of that. They are so similar. And, um, I don't know, like, I get him, so I get her. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, like, I like listening. I like hearing stories about Bobby through someone else's experience with him, especially in, like, the capacity that she was. We was a fucking girlfriend for a while, you know? And I like hearing stories about a younger Bobby, which kind of sounds like... The same? The same <laughs> exact person I'm dealing with today, really. <laughs> But when I messaged her, you know, I was like, oh, fuck. Like, what if she, what if she says no? Um, but she was like, yeah, yeah, I'm in. That's awesome. I was like, oh, thank God. And I'm glad she didn't think I was like being like a creep or anything like that, you know? Because it's easy to be like, well, what's in it for her? Like, what's your agenda, you know? I bet she did leave here being like, why does Kyle have so many photos of me and Bobby up in her room? Dude, um, this is so <laughs> creepy, but we have a picture of her like as a child, like okay. framed upstairs. <laughs> No, I remember and that. then I rem- the, uh, you remember that apartment. picture. Yeah, yeah, I remember I, I was thinking like I, I I always like Bobby. Who's that? And he was like, Oh, that's young Sarah. But it's such a cute picture. I'm like, Okay, good <laughs> enough for me. Because <laughs> I thought you and two had met before. Like that's uh, when me we've... too. I thought you guys had met. No, 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 no. We've only ever um, DM yeah. on, mm. on Instagram and stuff. And I follow her because I genuinely think she's fucking hilarious yeah. and super mm-hmm. super talented. And um, yeah, she reminds me of like maybe a more refined version of Bobby. Mm. So that makes sense. Did you guys see that? Like, well, there's like similarities. 
uh, I didn't the, the see weird, that the weird, as much. No. You didn't see the slim, like the weirdness a bit well, of that? Well, I see the weirdness, but I don't like, think that's like a... No, I they're, didn't see the... they're, I'm talking about their brand of funny. Yeah. yeah their yeah, brand okay. of yes. funny is the same. Yeah. Like, it's it's kind of like... Yeah, it's like unique. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Appreciate that he's back to playing video games. Oh, my God. Uh, Kalila, is there any shout-outs to any, like, uh, dogs that need to be adopted? Uh, I think all the dogs Finally? I fostered are currently... Um, adopted good thank god or one is in a trial process so fingers crossed i hope that works out um but um yeah i have nothing else to add to this day guys I'm but sorry. if i want to watch another podcast where can i do that oh that's right thanks for reminding me i'm really bad someone wrote me and said could you sound more enthusiastic about <laughs> other projects you're working on? She's like, you sound like a fucking like person asleep. I'm like, okay, no noted, noted. <laughs> so you guys, if you haven't already, I, I am on a separate podcast with my friends, Annie Letterman and Esther Pavitsky. It's called Bloodbath. It's out every Tuesday. It's on YouTube and all other platforms you listen to podcasts. Please subscribe. Go to iTunes. Someone's phone is ringing. George. Give us five stars. Um, I feel like I'm a different version of myself around them. Um, because, I don't know, they're just... Feminine energy. Different but in energy. A good way. And also they're girls. They're my friends. They're my girlfriends. So um, please do that if you haven't already. And I appreciate Chaz. And I'll see you next week. Right, it's a Did really that sound fun more show. enthusiastic? If it, if it's a really fun show. And if you don't get in now, you're really missing out, guys. I mean, it's... the. It's only going to get better. I'm, I couldn't be more... Oh, well, it's already great. And it's the top launch of uh, this year. Top launch of uh, 2021. So if basically, yeah, you're missing out if you aren't there already. Thank you, George. And George is behind... Um, is behind... Is my behind-the-scenes guy. I wouldn't have... I, I won't do anything without you, by the way, George. You're like my, my safety blanket. Because if it's like, oh, do you guys want to start a podcast? Can George be my producer? Because if George not my producer, I won't do it. So... There you guys go. Congrats to you, rich guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you elitist. Uh, guys, make sure you follow that you elitist. At the richest one in the room. Hello, you fucking on. bastard. Follow George underscore. This guy threw a dollar I'm bills. I'm rich in friends. Dude, we, <laughs> me, me and George took a road trip, and every time I wanted to pay for food, he said, I got it. <laughs> I'm sure you got it. I was it. like, it's four tacos. I can do it. I got it. I remember, it. like, because you guys ordered um, you guys ordered the pizza. I was like, I wonder if I should reimburse him. I'm like, nah, not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. It's a work weekend. It's, we got <laughs> oh, a lot of shows. Yeah, that's enough. Oh, they, yeah. Audience doesn't even know that's uh, coming out. Uh, the top secret, but coming out soon. Uh, we did a weekend, uh, a weekend project. Yeah. So uh, and the, to many more of yeah. those, maybe internationally this year. We'll see. Uh, I'd love to go to Italy and just do one podcast. <laughs> Think about that. We just showed up one day, one day, and go back. Wait, I, I want to talk to you guys about this. Since Bobby will be gone for as long as he's going to be gone yeah. in Budapest, um, are we able to join him at all, or are the restrictions still pretty uh, tight? I need over to there? look that up, but also I'm on special restrictions since I'll have a baby. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're you're on um, paternity leave. So I'm not as you're excited out. about doing research for other people's trips. Right, I just mean Gil. I could, but just found out oh. today in my passport, I need to update that. How fast uh, can I do that? Two weeks. Oh, Come God, on. 24 hours. Woo, why did Jeez. someone scare me by saying uh. months? Well, because no, that's no, if no. you don't uh, you do not do the fast one. No, you oh. could just go to any service, like passport. Um, like Walgreens? Like, no, not not Walgreens. What? There's a fa there there are agencies all over Los Angeles, and you can get them. One time we got Bobby a passport in 24 hours. Wow! Check yeah, out that just guy. Pay, pay extra money. They'll even Easy. courier it to you at the airport while you're waiting okay, for your flight. This is not a sponsor. There's no. She like knows everything about this. Country. I swear to you, because this is one of the biggest stress, one of the most passport, stressful yeah. times of my life was when Bobby needed a passport yep. and he failed to tell me his shit had expired. Oh. Or no, one time though he just it didn't expire. He just lost it. I ransacked the whole fucking house. I was crying to my mom, like, how much longer do I have to do this? I and finally, yeah. I found a place, and they literally ran it to him at the airport. That's pretty cool. Oh, man. I uh, Yeah, there was one time Bryce came out before he lived out here. We were going to go down to Tijuana, like Baja, California. Yeah. I actually got insurance on my car. We drove all the way down. We got to San Diego before I looked at my passport and saw that like oh. it expired like a month earlier. Well, you know, like back in the day, um, they didn't used to require a passport if you just had the California ID because yep. I used to go back and forth to Mexico a lot. 
and I would only, I would never yeah. show my passport. It was but, after 9-11, so that was the oh, problem. Oh, for sure, like, yeah, that's a different even, time. Even, even Canada, I mean, they required it after that. Or yeah, I, went, I did once with a bike uh, a driver's license. They were like, don't do this again. Man, I miss airports pre-9-11. Family go with you and you cry at the uh, terminal. Oh, yeah. Now you have to cry before security. I oh, know. Remember when you like get to actually say bye in the terminal? Yeah. I miss that. <laughs> With that song, guys, that's our sign up. Keep singing. Follow Kalila. Calamity K. George. George Ornithor Kimmel. Bobby. At Gilbert. At Bobby Live and at Gilbert. We love you guys so much. Follow Kalila's Spotify playlist. All right, guys. Bye. <laughs>